Hello everybody and welcome back to Heart to Nine Four. Today we're doing possibly the most boring tree in Hoi Four. Quite frankly, I don't see how this is gonna do anything. I've never done the Democratic Germany tree. I'm sure many of you have. I'm sure many of you haven't. Uh, but we're gonna take a little look at the old Democratic Germany tree and just see what is going on in it really just just what's going on in general um i'm not too sure really what to expect if if anything at all um i don't feel like anything particularly interesting is going to happen down this tree but we never know will there be any wars who knows this won't be a multi-part this will be one episode we'll figure out really what's going to happen when i go down the democratic Germany tree well, the civil war has begun. Uh, we are at war with with Germany uh, in 1936. Um, this tends to go our way most of the time. This, I, this, there isn't really many occasions where it doesn't go our way. Have I got Iron Man mode on. I do not. Uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, no. So this tends to go our way most of the time. There isn't really that many occasions where might have if I get the planes in the air, where it doesn't tend to go our way. It, it ninety percent of the time you're gonna find it goes your yeah. It goes the way of of democratic Germany. Well, non am I non aligned right now? Non aligned Germany. Uh, we're not doing the Kaiser. I know the Kaiser is a very fun route. We'll probably do that another time. But we we're not doing the Kaiser route this time. This is not the route of the Kaiser, this is the route of democratic, peaceful Germany. And that's what we're going to be. And uh, yeah, we're just going to just see really if it's at any fun or worth going down this tree at all, because I've never done it. I know there's a few videos of people who have done it, I personally have never done it, and I want to see if it's even worth going down this tree. <laughs> Well, Hitler's dead, uh, and it's Himmler in charge. So if you want to get Himmler, just need Hitler to die. There he is, Heinrich Himmler. Though there is no way, I don't think, to, is there, I don't think there is a way to play as Himmler in uh, Nazi Germany. I don't think there is a way. If there is, please let me know. I'll figure it out. But uh, I don't think there is a way to play as Himmler. Berlin's fallen, the Nazis are, are getting pushed out. Um, I don't think there's any troops up here. Uh, I'm also very interested, because the Nazis play a huge role. I mean, they help out a lot in the Nationalist Spanish War, but I think Spain will win that anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be excited to see, really, what, the, what happens with communism and the rise of that in the east of Europe, and, and will the Balkans still mostly go fascist, or Italy still, you know, try and take... Uh, Yugoslavia. It's still gonna. I mean, it's once war in Ethiopia. So yeah, I'm really kind of excited just to see what the world does. This could be the most boring game ever. I imagine it is because Germany's the big bad, right? It's like it'd be like taking Darth Vader out of Star Wars. Not a huge amount would happen in the movie, you know? Like if you got rid of the Empire in Star Wars, what's gonna happen? A couple of old guys will walk around and be like, that's you know, talk about politics, which is I imagine is what, <laughs> what's gonna happen. Ah. Uh, there they go, the German Civil War ends. Uh, oh, what do we do with the Nazis? Do we hang them? Do we imprison them for life? Does that add a point to that? It's always changing. Yeah, um... We'll imprison them for life. We're democratic. We're nice people. And there we go. Uh, right, secure the new state. The superior firepower tree is just better. I know Germany are all about tanks, but I hate designing tanks. Um, we just combine all. If we get them all in one place and then merge them, so good stuff. Um, yeah, it's just. Now what happens? We haven't got many divisions. 
We got some old boats and stuff in, in production. Factories have been broken. What do we what do we do? Just wait, I guess. So uh so far all I've gotten out of this tree is an alliance with Scandinavia, of which Denmark didn't join for some reason. We're too good for you, huh? You're too good for us, sorry, you fucking Dumbledore looking bastard. Uh, Italy, Yugoslavia just, just ceded to Italy, I guess. They didn't feel like standing up to them. Uh, so we'll have to liberate down here eventually. Um, but no, it's just... I'm gonna ruin the Balkan... I'm gonna release all the Balkan people as puppets. Do you know what else we'll do? We'll go to war with uh, Italy first, I think. Can I declare war on them? No, I need just I need it at hundred. I think they can declare war on me though. Uh, we're getting Poland in it. Uh, the Soviet Union took bits of Poland already, so we'll get Poland in the faction. We'll get Finland in the faction. We'll get the Baltics in the faction, and then uh, yeah, we get a topple war goal against the Soviet Union. I've got a bit of a meme idea for them once we finish that as well. So, the Soviets invaded, or, or they're invading Finland and they invaded the Baltics, but then they puppeted them in these disgusting blobs. Like, why? What resources do they even have? They don't have any resources. I mean, they physically can't make anything about trade. We, they, they, they can't have many factories. I mean, these guys could literally have thirteen. Like, okay, thirteen factories. They, they, I mean, these guys have eight. Eight factories. I mean. This is disgusting. I, I I don't understand why he's done this. That's the, that's the real evil we're gonna have to purge. Is his disgusting ideas of puppeting? Are they gonna just get the white piece, or are they gonna press on and try and see? Do you think? I don't know. Guess we'll see what happens. Well, we're finally doing strike at source. I, one thing I've noticed about playing democratic Germany is it gives you. An absolutely metric shit ton of research opportunities. Like it really does. I mean, it doesn't matter what I choose. It really does bolster your research a huge amount. Like, what am I doing? I should improve my uh, artillery. I don't think I've touched that tree at all. I've done one upgrade. Jesus. Um. Yeah, it really does give you an absolutely metric shit ton of uh, just units. Like um, what's the word? Like a bunch of tech. Sorry, but uh, it just doesn't give you much in the way of anything else. It's just, yeah, it's, it's an odd... Uh, we can get rid of you now, mate. You can go soon. Yeah, it's an odd, it's an odd tree. It's an odd tree to go down Democratic Germany. Well, it's time to, to go to war with the old Russians. Um, I didn't call my allies into that. That's, that was dumb. Uh, German-Soviet war. I don't, I don't see us losing, to be honest. Germans at war again, Soviet-Russian trade agreement gone. I mean, we're at war again, sure, but... <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, it's just a steamroll. Well, this is, this is a weird game. It's like you're weirdly strong for a democratic country, but you've got nothing to fight. Like, it, it, you spend the whole game and they big up this Soviet kind of menace, but it's not a fight you have to gear up for. I mean, I just built a bunch of infantry divisions and got a bunch of people in the faction, and it's it's the regular old Russia versus, you know... Russia versus Germany game where you, you just push and you win. It's it's not particularly very hard. It's the very kind of tried and true Russia Germany strategy of the more I push, the more I get. Um, 
very hard to lose the war against the Russians, that's for damn sure. It's, it's, yeah, it's not like it's a hard fought war or a war that requires a lot of effort. It's a war that, I mean, especially if you're Germany, like you, I mean, come on, I just make a big front line and they, and they walk in. Um, where did the Netherlands get this? Oh, because they're in my faction. I completely forget, I forget the Netherlands are even in my faction. Just, yeah, just walk it in, just, I mean, I'm just going to pop it everything, I think. Oh, I don't appear that, pre uh, player that peace conference, this is going to get ugly because I don't have player that peace conferences on, but, uh, it'll be right. The UK has joined our war now, so they're helping us fight the Soviets. Yeah, you guys can come in. It's fine by me. Dutch East Indies won a yeah, non aggression pact. Did the Dutch not join us? I swear the Dutch are in our faction. Have oh, they joined the Allies? Did they leave us to join the Allies? The fuck? I swear down they're in our faction. Oh, they came to the British, didn't they? So they would have left and joined the Allies because the, the British influenced them. I forgot they do that. Um, I mean, we're getting stuck here a little bit, but the Brits are coming soon, and that's just gonna, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What? Italy joined the fucking common turn. What is going on? Well, that changes some things. Um, I think all my allies can hold this one. I'm gonna gamble a little bit. Well, Italy declared war on the allies, uh, which then <laughs> Italy got destroyed. So Italy doesn't exist anymore. Um, Benito's gone. Japan did Japan's thing. I forgot Japan even existed, to be honest, uh, which brought the US into the war. So now the war's looking very much like, I mean, we've been navally invaded up here and they, they connected up, but war is looking very much in our favour. Came the Italy to declare war on Italy. Can we get them in our faction? No, they don't fucking puppet the British. God damn it. God damn it. Bullshit. <laughs> but it's going well. We're pushing into Yugoslavia now. We're taking out those Yugoslavs. Belgrade's almost up. Belgrade is ours. It's going well. I mean, the war's slowing down a little bit. They've pushed in down the south here, but it's nothing we can't. Look, like, we're going to win eventually. I mean, with Italy around, it's just the Russians. They have a hundred and something divisions, but it's not going terribly well for them. So, I'm not too sure the Soviet defense plan here. Because there's a lot of troops up here, right? The 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 the, the common turn have a lot of troops up here. Because granted, they're defending from a naval invasion, right? But this naval invasion isn't going particularly well. They haven't moved in about seven months. But there's like one or two divisions here, and my boys are just punching through. Like we've just like we've got a a huge got a little encirclement down here, but well, the British just decolonized and white pieced so now they're not in the war with Russia anymore. <laughs> oh, they are. They are still in the war, but where are their troops? They just fucked off. Are they white pieced? And I don't know where their troops went, but nowhere useful. They're not on the front anymore. It's uh, it's going all right. We're doing pretty well. For some reason, it just, like, Democratic Germany gets so many research slots, and it doesn't need this many, because, like, I'm not really going to war, I mean, the Soviets, sure, but I don't need that much research for the Soviets. Well, the Russians are about to capitulate, the Japanese are gone, the Russians are almost gone, we, we've nuked a couple of things, I forgot to press record for that, but we've nuked a few, we've nuked a few capitals, just for shits and giggles, I have them. I might as well. These guys here. Ready. Come on. Kazan? Kaz gone. Simple as. Push in. Take it. There shouldn't be anybody there. That's why I hate about nukes. There's like, what's the point in doing, using them? I don't understand the, the fundamental use of nukes. Because, 
I just nuked the capital, and they are still soldiers. In Kazan, and they're gone. Beautiful. Right, I put player-led peace conferences on in between. I'm going to sort this out, and I'll come back with the results. So this is this is what's left. <laughs> you got a really big Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is here. Uh, they're big and strong. Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Uh, the Russian Federation own uh, this little bit here. Uh, we've made Georgia and Armenia and uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, the Balkans have been split up. We got Serbia. I gave Albania to Italy. Uh, we got Macedonia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Croatia, uh, Slovenia. It's capital of Slovenia. It's not Maribor, it's Ljubljana. <laughs> Ah, uh, we got Ukraine, we got Belarus, I guarantee the independence of Ukraine, just so, you know, these guys. Italy has done this weird blemish thing all over, um, Russia. So, it, so Russia's got fucking acne, and the acne is Italians. Um, America and China split Japan. I don't even know what's going on down here. Yeah, we um These guys are look at these guys fighting. What the fuck is going on over I don't some something's happening in Italy. In France, sorry. I don't I don't wanna they're just shooting at each other? Uh, are they at war with somebody? That's the Czechs, are they the Czechs at war with somebody? The Czechs are at war with Slovenia. This, this game is cursed. This game is cursed and it's broken. And I'm leaving it. Yeah, this is it. This is, this is the world. The world sucks. Everybody's at... People are just fighting and... Random locate. Are we at war with Italy? Oh, I'm at war with the UK now? For some reason. I, I don't care. I, I, I'm not fighting the UK. I was wondering what's going on. But I don't care. It's done. It's over. We, we didn't win. We did win. Welcome to the pack, Denmark, finally. You joined after, you know, the whole... You declined it and then the whole war. Now you're in another war. Fuck this world. This world sucks. I, I made it worse. Africa's split. I don't know what's going on. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you did like it. Feel like sticking around. Um, I'll see you in the next one.